Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I had more technical difficulties. <laughs> All right, y'all. We have to vocabulary and ministry minutes. Amen. 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 We're up to the Sabbath. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sabbath, Sabbath, Sabbath means knowledge. Amen. All right. Uh, we um, have vocabulary word coming up about uh, 10, 15 minutes. Then we got the altar call. Sorry. Then we got ministry minutes uh, about midway through. And uh, we have the altar call in the last five minutes of the segment. Amen. Each and every segment. Uh, don't forget to check out our partners. Amen. On LUTGradio.com. And uh, also, um, that's a great way to support LUTG Radio. And also, uh, remember that you can, you can place your event. You can advertise your event or product or service on the LUTG Radio. Send me an email to lutgradio at gmail.com and just say, I want to advertise on LUTG Radio or advertise. You can put the subject line, advertise, and then, you know, whatever you want in the body. Um, and then uh, you also have the option, you can text me at 858-848-6186, 858-848-6186. And if you want to chat right now, I'm not going to put your business or product on the air, but if you just want to chat about anything that has been said in any one of these segments, or if you want to give a shout out or pray, uh, call me at 773-598-8900. Now here's the thing, I will not pray for you. I will come in agreement. You're like, Kevin, why won't you pray for people? Because I like to hear people pray. Whenever you ask somebody to pray for you, my thing is, do you know how to pray? Okay, well if you don't know how to pray, is a great opportunity to practice. Let's go. <laughs> my pastor, one of my former pastors used to say, oh, well, if you thought of the idea, it's yours. Run with it. So don't open your mouth uh, if you ain't going to do it. Don't suggest something for somebody else to do for you. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to prayer, it's always good when you have somebody come in agreement with you. Amen. So, and if you don't know how to pray, don't feel ashamed. Just do what you know how to do. The Holy Ghost will guide you. And they'll put you with somebody that knows how to pray. And they'll teach you how to pray. Alright? But don't be, don't be leaning on everybody to say your prayers. Oh, help me. My mama's sick. I got these scriptures here, but I don't know what to say. Try reading them. <laughs> oh, help me. Such and such happened. I need X, Y, Z. Okay. You got the scriptures there. Try reading them. You got a mouth. You healthy. You hold. Open your mouth and say something. You got a voice. Open your mouth. You speak in spirit and say something. And make it good. Ain't no sense in speaking negative about your situation. You might as well say something positive. And some of you folks are sick and you woe is in me. Okay, hold on now. You already got the bad report from the doctor. Ain't no sense in putting that in the light. You might as well say, well, I know what the doctor said, but I believe I'm healed. Even if I got to go through, I know I'm going to come out in victory on the other side. So you might as well think positive and say something positive about you. All right? And for you folks that don't like to go to the doctor, I understand. I totally get it. I understand. I understand. I really do. Because people will experiment on you so they can get in a medical journal. People will experiment on you. For whatever reason, for, for money, for Medicaid, Medicare, Blue Cross, all them other folks, United Help to get some money. I understand. See, the insurance companies are pretty smart. A lot of them catch that crazy stuff and they'll be like, nah, 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 you can't do that. You ain't going to overcharge them. So sorry. You ain't doing that. So a lot of them, you know, a lot of them insurance companies will catch that. 
But what I'm saying is don't be afraid to go to the doctor. If you got insurance and you need to go to the doctor, go. Preventive care is so important because it, it actually prevents you from having that major surgery because you'll catch it in time so you can reverse the situation. All right? All right, so I'm just saying, I had something else to tell you and I forgot. But anyway, we got music for you. We got some JPN. God got a plan. And uh, remember, 773-598-8900. Hey, man, let's chat. What's up, Nino? Hey, man, I know you're listening. Hey. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all can check out Nino at a Privet's Barbershop over there in the North Carolina. Amen, amen, amen. You can also check them out on acawmedia.com uh, for um, the Car My Carolinas. Amen. There you go. That's the page, My Carolinas, on acawmedia.com. Being on the road that you want. If I gave up, I would have been long gone. See, God got a plan for you. If you give him a chance, and you'll see it too. I know you're tired of the games and tricks, but it ain't nothing that my Jesus can't fix. Ain't no love like from Father God. Break away from the devil, he still kills and robs. Don't you want to know your purpose, bro? And what you got to go through these things for? You should be thankful. You still breathing, even that has meaning. If you do this, how would it affect your family, your baby, your mama, your favorite aunt and granny? You ain't got to show me that you got guts. Just put the knife away and just listen up. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you got to do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you got to do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate in your call. Man, I'll be in on the road that you own. Wearing them colors, pack a big old chrome. But that ain't no way to live. You either wind up dead or doing a bid. You might think that your boys got your back. Catch a murder rap, and they forgot all that. And as a matter of fact, God could even fix that. You played a hard road, but you can stop all that. Cause the cats around the corner ain't cut no slack. If you follow me, I show you what Jesus said. He'll break those chains off of your mind. You gotta make a decision, you're running out of time. Open up your eyes and see it for what it is. I had homies get shot up at their crib. It's more to life than just guns and ammo. So I live every day. Taking the gamble. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Man, I'm being on the road that you own. Standing on the corner, rolling them stones. Fast money ain't the way to go. If you wind up in the jail cell, your time moves slow. God can supply all that you need from your car, crib, to the shoes on your feet. But you gotta give up the sin. Kick it out and let Christ flow in. I'm not saying that life is easy, but walking with Jesus makes it really breezy. I put my cares on him. And my faith, homeboy, it never runs thin. Just confess that you'll turn it all over. And become one of God's great soldiers. And his will for your life shall manifest. I'll walk with you through it and do my best. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you got to do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Don't give up. God got a plan for you. All you got to do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. 
Don't give up, God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate your call. Don't give up, God got a plan for you. All you gotta do is what he said do. His love will cover it all. Turn away from the sin and operate in your call.
Amen. We win in. Praise the Lord. We got the vocabulary word coming up right after this. Chicago's own uh, Julian Keys. It starts with a dream. Don't be afraid of fear. You can conquer anything. Just close your eyes and spark a dream. Allow your heart to lead the way, and then you see your dreams become a reality. All you gotta do is believe. Yes. I throw your mind with hope. You will live fantasy. of possibilities be anything you wanna be now can't you see how everything starts with a dream Don't be blind to keep your aim. Yeah, at the prize you're trying to win and claim. When everything don't go as planned, just travel to a place within where no other man can go. You see. Kathy Brocks of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at lutgradio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's about that time for the vocabulary word. Oh, my goodness. Um, First, I want to say this. I told you last week about uh, this bill that Uganda has and uh, lots of Christian, Christian, not lots, a few Christian organizations have backed them. But what they're doing is uh, they have this law that was introduced in 2009 and it got passed that uh, the original law stated that if you are homosexual and you are found to be uh, having sexual relations of the same sex, you will be killed immediately. The punishment is death. And then they changed it to life in prison. Before it was 14 years in prison uh, in the uh, sub-Saharan uh, area, uh, uh, sub-Saharan areas. Um, this is not right. You're going from one extreme to the other. First, it was enslave the blacks because, well, we can use them to make money. Then it was kill them if they try to leave. Then it was you cannot marry who you want to. You marry who we tell you to marry. Then it was, you better not marry a white person. Don't even look at them. You can't even whistle at them. Don't even look in their direction. Then it was, I'll kill you for doing it. And it's just ridiculous. So many black people have died. This is a, and you, you, this is so stupid. So stupid. Because you go against abortion, which takes lives. But then you're willing to take a life because somebody is filled with a spirit. Vengeance is not yours. It ain't mine. It ain't yours. What the freak are you all doing? You go from slaughtering in Rwanda all these black people because they're in different classes. And now you're killing people because they're proclaiming to be gay, to be homosexual. You know what? then why don't you kill the men that are cheating on their wives? How about that? How about kill all the men and women that have more than one wife? How about that? That's over in, the, over in Uganda and Sub-Saharan area. That's over there. How about this? You chop off the penises of all the men that even look in a direction that is not their wife. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How will you give a how will anybody have an opportunity to choose if you don't let them? If they have chosen to be that way, then God will deal with that. Anybody that chooses to be heterosexual or homosexual, they are living no matter whether you believe in Jesus or not, we are all living by the word of God, whether it's for it or against it. God had already made his decision. So we got to let him do his thing. Let him take vengeance. These laws that we are creating, it's coming to a head. And you think that you're going to get into heaven by killing people because of these laws? This is just a legal way to get rid of black people. This is a legal way to get rid of the unwanted. That's all it is. Another form of slavery. These prisons are ran for profit and all over the world. They're ran for profit. So, how has anything changed? Don't look like anything changed to me. Here's the vocabulary word. Amen, amen, amen. Show love always. Be faithful as Jesus is faithful. Mantra el amor siempre. Se fiel como Jesús es fiel. Mantra el amor siempre. Se fiel como Jesús es fiel. Show love always. Be faithful as Jesus is faithful. That's the vocabulary phrase for today. A Amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. Jesús te llama querida y yo también. Only Jesus, only you can satisfy by Rory Green and Kingdom Cry. We got Ministry Minutes coming up shortly.
Only you can purify my heart. Only you can make me whole. Only you can speak and there be peace. Only you can calm the storms. Only you can save. You look beyond my faults and saw my needs. For the rest of my days, I'll give you the praise, oh Lord. Only you can satisfy my soul. I know it's only the power of the Lord. If you know it's only the power of the Lord, begin to lift your praise to Him. Come on and say, only you. Only you can purify my heart. Only you can make me whole.
LA Workout Apparel. Look good while you sweat yourself to help. Many great looks for a beautiful you. Sweat in style and LA Apparel at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Sweat in style at LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Get your LA Apparel now. Hi, this is Kathy Brock of LUTG Radio, Chicago, Illinois. This is an example of a 15-second commercial. Contact us at LUTGRadio at gmail.com. Advertise with us today. We want your business. Contact us today. That's right. Contact LUTG Radio. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus loves you, beloved, and so do I. This is Ministry Minutes, and it goes a little something like this. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. For by grace you have been saved. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Jesus loves you. He's the only one that died on the cross. How can we condemn another man for something that we're doing? How can we condemn a man for something that we're thinking and they're doing? When is it okay to beat up on somebody and to hurt them just because we don't like what they're doing. When is it okay to take everything into our own hands and not listen to the voice of God? When is it okay to not pay attention to what God is telling us? I tell you this, it is never okay to ignore God. Not ever. It is never okay to take vengeance into our own hands. It is never okay to write a law to write a law that would kill people because we don't agree. Okay, some Christians said, hey, homosexuality actually destroys African families. Homosexuality <laughs> is not just on the African family. My question is, what about every family in the whole world? Do we kill everybody in the entire world because, well, a few Less than 1% are homosexual. Do we kill their friends and families because, well, you birthed that child, so therefore that is your fault because you birthed them. That's your seed. That's your egg. We'll kill you too because you gave birth to that child. We'll kill you because you're that child's brother. You're that man's brother. You're that man's sister. You're the auntie. You're the niece. You're the nephew. You're the uncle. We'll kill you too. You're the teacher that raised them. How come you didn't whip it out of them? How come you're the preacher? He came to your church. Or she came to your church. How come you didn't tell them right from wrong? Okay, they caught you in a compromising position with your secretary. And your son said, oh, I don't want to be like my dad because my dad cheats on my mom. I think I'm going to go another way. He's not going to like this, but it's okay. Do we kill the preacher too that cheated on his wife and that action caused his son to say, eh, I think I'm going to go another way. What do we do? Do we kill everybody in the entire world? Do we now say, hi Hitler? Because you know, then they kind of seem the same. He killed Jews because they didn't look like him. He killed Jews because he was actually inferior to them. He killed Jews because he just wanted to. He wanted a total world domination. And Satan was reeling him in. Satan was controlling that dude like a man, like reins on a horse. So you got to ask yourself, is Satan writing these laws that are being written? They're written in Uganda. They're written in the sub-Saharan. Are they written in America? They're written in America. They're, they're old laws on the book. So, does it make it okay? See, we decided that slavery was wrong. We decided that oppressing women was wrong. We decided that raping children was wrong, even though back in the day, you could buy a boy, a soldier could buy a boy to have sex with if a woman wasn't available. They just called it prostitution. We decided that that stuff was wrong. So should we go back and find out how many soldiers and which soldiers those were 
and come forward and kill all their present family now? What should we do? Or should we offer the gospel and let God take the vengeance and show love the way he said? But he said, the first commandment is to love the Lord that God with all the heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love your neighbor, those are the ones that are unsaved, as you love yourself and love your brothers and sisters in Christ as, Christ, as Jesus loves the church. And that's what he said. So why can't we leave it up to Jesus? Why can't we be obedient and love like he said? That's just my question. Why? This is Ministry Minutes. We got the altar call coming up for you in a few short. Here, uh, here is uh, Grace and Mercy by C. Nobby. Yes, yes. God said in his word that his grace and his mercies are renewed towards our lives daily. So no matter what you do, where you been, get up and go forward. On my left and right, it's grace and mercy. Now I'm going to get it right, because grace and mercy. When I take a fall, it's grace and mercy that stands me tall. That's grace and mercy. Go up front and behind. It's grace and mercy. God say no. My mind is grace and mercy. When I take a stand, it's grace and mercy. Do it now. I can. That's grace and mercy. Welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. Might as well join us. Cause can't nobody beat him. Him is the savior. Ain't nobody greater. People gonna hate you because of your favor. For God so loved the world 
Amen. He is grace and mercy. Amen. For his God. Jesus is grace. Jehovah is mercy. God the Father gives mercy to whom he shall give mercy. It's his choice. Jesus is the grace that gave us the ability to have salvation. He died on a cross for us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. Jesus te llama querida y yo también. Jesus loves you and I love you because he told me to. He actually told me to. I'm one of those people that receives orders and follows them. When he tells me to do something, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. I ain't even got to like you, but I do got to love you. You feel me? Even those people that's writing these old crazy laws, I actually have to love them. I ain't got to like them. I ain't even got to like nothing they do, because I don't. But I still got to love them. Same thing goes for you. You ain't got to like me, but you do got to love me. Because that's what the Word says. That's what God says. Salvation is offered to everybody, regardless of your background, regardless as to how many mistakes you've made, regardless as to what people think of you. Salvation is for you. If you would like to receive the free gift of salvation, the, fr the forgiveness of your sins, a relationship with Jesus, now is the time. I'm offering to you free. He gave me free reign to offer it to everybody. Repeat this prayer after me. If you believe in, I should say this first, if you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that God raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. Repeat this prayer. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth, that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this word for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link. Find a church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation classes and your prayer intercessory class. And remember, Jesus does love you. Amen. You are beautiful. Follow me to the next segment, which is Sway and Groove. Amen. Got some jazz music coming up for you. Here's Shawana Hayes, Free to Be Me. Amen, amen, amen. Remember to say prayers to include our psalmists, our gospel singers, in your prayer daily. Amen. Pray uh, 3 John 2 for them. Amen. Glory to God. 